In this video, we're going to finish the assembly and mounting of the tailstock. I'm going to start this video with the carriages already assembled. You can find assembly instructions on the fire carriage video and a link to the manufacturer's website in the description. We'll be mounting the carriages to the carriage plate with 3 8 inch hardware. We'll be using a 3 8 inch by 1 inch bolt with corresponding washer and lock washer. Attach the carriage to the plate and repeat on the other side. Again, the process for mounting the tailstock is identical to that of the fire carriage. The hardware holding everything together should be semi-tight. You want to put the tailstock on the ways and slide it back and forth to find any binding. And in this case I found some binding on one of the lower bolts. It was sticking out just a little too far and rubbing on the uh, extrusion of the frame and so I'm going to uh, just tighten it down a little bit with this uh, socket. After I do my adjustment I put the tailstock back on the ways and check my work and it's a, it's a bit of a process. Uh, you may have to spend some time getting this one right, but it's an important step. It's typically the bottom bolts that produce the binding and need to be adjusted. If all goes well, you shouldn't have any binding, and you can move on to uh, the steps where we tighten everything down. Just like the fire carriage, we'll be using two bark lamps to tighten the whole assembly up against the ways. You want to make sure the bark lamps are aligned so the pressure is directly on the bearings that are running on the edges of the ways. Once you've got the bar clamps in place and tightened up, roll the carriage up and down the ways. You want to check for binding or tightness. Uh, it's possible to get these things over tight. After I got the clamps on, I noticed some binding that needed to be uh, addressed with the bolt on the bottom. Be patient, take your time, do it right the first time. Once you get things running smooth and tight, tighten down the bolts holding the carriage plate to the carriages. Things were a little too tight for my liking, so I undid the bolts and repeated the process with a little less pressure on the clamps. In the last step, we'll need to put blue thread lock on the set screws and use them to engage the lower bearings with the ways. I've been using this blue thread lock gel and uh, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I find the liquid stuff gets everywhere and the stuff stays put. Uh, it's very clean. I'll have a link uh, in the description down below. I find it really easy and clean just to take this set screw out, uh, leave it on the hex wrench, and apply the thread locker. Repeat the process on both sides. 
roll the tailstock up and down the ways to check the engagement of the bearings. Every single bearing should be engaged with the ways. Full constraint is achieved when every single bearing is rolling as the tailstock moves up and down the ways. Again, this is something that takes a little patience, but uh, is fairly easy to do. Take your time. You'll hear it and see it and feel it when things are perfect, and it's really satisfying. Take a moment at this point to check the full function of your fire carriage and your tailstock. They should be running smoothly and without binding across the ways.